Hey friends, today as we open up God's Word, I want to encourage you to uh, spend some time really uh, reading slowly through these, this passage. Today we're going to be reading uh, Romans 12, starting in verse 9, all the way through 21. And um, this is so important as we think about relationships. Um, almost all of this is going to help your relationships. Um, this entire, these entire verses, I mean, it's just so much about how we should look at our relationships. In my Bible, it's, it's marked, uh, Marks of the True Christian is the title right above this. And I don't know what it says in your Bible, but I think if it says that in mine, um, you know, that's not an inspired part. That's somebody that added extra uh, to help us get some context, but we should pay attention to that. Marks of the True Christian, starting in verse 9 of chapter 12 of Romans, it says this, Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. <laughs> wow. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink. For by doing so, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. When we talk about the marks of a true Christian in the context of relationships, as we are thinking about relationships this week and how we're cultivating friendship, sometimes uh, it's really hard to, to, cultivate, to cultivate a relationship with somebody who's very different than you. And I want to encourage you um, to follow the scripture, to do something that's very difficult. It says, don't let vengeance be yours. Trust that God is a just God. If somebody's wronged you, leave the vengeance to God. God calls us to love even our enemies. And I think it helps me so much to read things like earlier in Romans, like Romans 5, when it says God showed his love for us um, in this, uh, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Um, I, while we were still sinners, it wasn't that I had cleaned myself up. I had done everything right, you know. Then Christ uh, sacrificed himself for me. No, I was an enemy of God. And so whenever we think about that, we meditate on the scripture today. Spend time thinking about uh, these truths, you know. We're supposed to weep with those who weep and mourn with those who mourn. We're rejoice with those who rejoice. Uh, we're supposed to live at harmony, not just with the people that are easy to have harmony with, the people that are like us, but we're actually supposed to live at harmony with everyone as far as it depends on us. That's a verse that has stuck in my mind so many times. If possible, verse 18 of chapter 12 of Romans says, uh, if possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Um, you can only control you, and God calls you to live at peace with all as far as it depends on you. So do that today. Let's ask God to guide us in this. Let's ask God to give us grace for today to remember our position uh, before him, which will help us to live at peace with all those around us. And um, may his spirit guide us. Would you pray with me? Uh, and seriously, spend time meditating on these words today. More than just these few minutes that we're spending reading it here. Read it for yourself a few times. Let's pray. God, thank you for your word as it challenges us uh, not to just live at peace with those who are easy to have peace with, that we're already at peace with, but actually living at peace with our enemies. Lord, I pray that you would help us to understand in a deep way what that means for each of us. For each of my friends that's watching this, Lord, I pray that you would uh, bring to mind the people that um, they will quickly think of that are hard to live at peace with. 
um, but give them your spirit to guide them to understand how to live at peace with them uh, what is their responsibility to live it uh, to to gain peace to work for peace um, lord i pray that that you would guide them lord your spirit is so powerful you can bring healing to relationships that we can't and lord i pray that you would do that today uh, lord i pray that you would guide us uh, in our words and in our thoughts uh, help us to remember our position that you died for us while we were uh, enemies with you uh, we weren't godly um, but lord we need you to give us that redemption and to give us that um, freedom um, it's only by the power of jesus help us to remember that as we uh, live in a world filled with uh, difficult relationships uh, lord i pray that you would give us grace for those around us who are hard uh, to love and to, to agree with um, maybe we don't always agree but lord help us to live peaceably with all those around us Lord, I ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Have a great day, guys.